Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everybody, Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys checking back in on gold. We have got a very tight range today and little action, little volatility, boring gold traders to death. So first thing this morning, I could see that that volatility was unlikely to be there today by looking at the shorter term time frame. So I advised members that Dust and NUGT and those minor plays were likely going to be boring and see some choppy action back and forth. And that ended up being the case. So on the daily chart here, we're rejecting from that 100-day moving average resistance of 12.18. But I like looking at the shorter-term time frames. Here's the hourly chart, and this is about where we started the day. And we're in right now in a pattern of lower highs and higher lows, tightening trading range, decreasing volume, and we are currently testing this support uptrend line. If we lose 212 support, we're looking down at 12.08, and then down to 1200 psychological. So a break of this pattern to the downside will show weakness. A break of 1208 will absolutely affirm that weakness. And if we zoom out, obviously the trend has been to the downside on the hourly chart. If we break to the upside, we'll look for 216 to become support. We will look for a break of two of 1222. That is the key level. That rejected both attempts here at the highs. If 1222 becomes support, we will look for NUGT and JNUG to have some nice gains, and 1230 will be the next resistance level I'm looking at. But the hourly chart is giving some nice indication, and you can zoom in and see just how tight that range has been for gold as we flatten out here and test the support. So a, a clear example of using multiple time frames for getting key information, weekly chart for gold, attempting to form a bullish reversal doji, we'll need to close at 1215, to see an exact official doji by definition. But either way, the upper and lower wick of this candlestick shows indecision. And after coming after four red weeks, that indecision favors the bulls. So depending on how we close tomorrow, we will be looking for potential bullish reversal confirmation on the weekly time frame with a green week next week. But this hourly chart is going to give us the indication we need tomorrow for some potential day trades heading into the weekend. So I appreciate you watching. As always, gold a lot less interesting today, and I bet the view count in this video will reflect that. But certainly volatility will continue to appear, and a break of this tightening pattern will be the first increase in volume and volatility we see. So thanks for watching. We'll check back in tomorrow over the weekend. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. The Chart Guys community has compiled trader tips from dozens of traders over the last year and put together a free ebook you can access by clicking the button and entering your email. Have a wonderful night.